Can we go to Proverbs chapter 12, verse 18? To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. There is that speak of like the piercings of a sword. But the tongue of the wise is health. Okay. I like how it is in the expanded Bible here. Careless, chattering words stab like a sword. But wise words bring healing. A wise tongue brings healing. Okay. Are you the type of person, whether you get mad or whatever else, are you the type of person that will begin saying things you don't mean, like rude, mean things? Are you the type of person that just begin talking, not really placing great thought into what you are saying. For myself, there are times when I joke a lot. And even with that, I have to be careful with what I say. But are you the type of person when you get mad or really emotional, whether you are a man or a woman, are you the type of person that begins to start saying stuff? Okay. There is that speak of like the piercings of a sword. Careless words stab like a sword. Do you know what effect you have on people? Is this saying that what we say can hurt people? Kevin, I did not really mean what I said to you, but, you know, you should forget about it. For an example. Do you know what effect your words have on a person? I can see if there is a person who is super sensitive. That is one thing. But I think it is another thing to say what comes to your mind when you feel emotional. I believe you should be very, very careful of that. Don't you know we are going to reap what we sow? So if you are saying things that hurt people, if you are careless with your words, what do you think is going to happen to you? I believe the same is going to happen to you. Actually, there is a person, and I hope this person doesn't mind. Well, maybe I should not say, but I believe you will reap what you sow. So if you say things to hurt people, I believe you are going to have people that's going to hurt you in some type of way, whether in the words or something else, I believe. So, why wonder why there is a person speaking rudely to you when you are, or if you are rude to other people? Like, why wonder about it? Aren't you getting repaid for what you have done? We have to be careful with our words, myself. I can't and I must not speak whatever is on my mind when I get mad 
Why? Because probably it will hurt a person very badly. I think most people I come in contact with are very sensitive people. What if I began saying what I really felt to them? That would probably hurt them so bad. And I believe I will be accountable for that. Right? Now, if I correct a person, you need to stop that. And if they get hurt by that, that's them. Because I believe we should correct a person when they are wrong, right? Okay. Let's continue. But the tongue of the wise is health. Wise words bring healing. Words are not words. I believe there is a verse in the New Testament, and I may not quote it correctly, something like death and life are in the power of the tongue or something like that. Words are not words. How can I say that? Words are not only words per se. I believe words have power. So be careful how you speak to your children. Don't call them, I don't like saying this word, don't call them stupid. Don't call them an idiot. Don't say to them, when you grow up, you are going to be a whore or you are going to be no good. You are going to be a prostitute. Be careful of what you say. When you get mad, I believe you have to be extra careful of how you say, of how you act and what you say. Myself, when I get angry, I believe I have to place more focus on what I say, how I say it, and what I do. I think I have to put much more focus on it. Well, Kevin, I have an anger problem and and uh, that is just the way it is. Okay. Listen now. I don't want to go to hell. I believe I told you all that I had, I believe I had dreams about hell. And I believe I told you all that I believe I had visions of demons. Perhaps visions of hell too, maybe. This one time, was it a vision or like a still image vision? Whatever it may be called. I saw some type of demon. I believe I saw some type of demon with no skin. Can you imagine that? Like... I forget how everything was, but I think it was really disturbing to see it. I think if you go, I think if you go to hell, yes, I think the torment will be terrible, but I think seeing the demons by itself, if you are able to, will be torment by itself. I truly believe it. Just seeing something that looks very grotesque, if I am saying that right. Man. Be careful of your words. When you get, if you get, or when you get emotional, don't start saying random stuff. Please. Because would you be able to handle it if a person begins speaking to you in that same way? If you believe yourself to be a victim, let me stop there. God bless you.